hello lovely family and friends a warm welcome back to my channel my name is samira and i hope you are all doing well by god's grace today i want to share with you this delicious delicious simple simple sausage roll recipe so stay with me and let me show you how i achieve this so for this recipe i first of all i'm going to caramelize some onions okay so i'll show you what i'll use the onions for right so i add some oil it could be any kind of oil you have into my frying pan and then i add some chopped onions okay or sliced onions you can use whatever onions red yellow white okay then i'm going to season the onions okay i'm seasoning it with vegetable bouillon some black pepper minced herbs and some salt okay that is all to make this onions taste super super nice right so once it's nicely caramelized you set it aside okay so for the pastry we have some flour i'm going to be putting all the measurements up there for you and in the description box okay i've added some baking powder some salt and then some sage using the sage is optional but if you do have sage oh my 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 please add it and thank me later okay mix all that together all the dry ingredients and you add in your butter Rubbing the butter or margarine into the flour until it's nicely incorporated and it looks somewhat like breadcrumbs, okay? If you do have a food processor, you can use that as well. And what I do is I start to mix it like small portions at a time, okay? So when it looks like this, right, you start, you add your wet ingredients. So for our wet ingredients, I'm going to crack some eggs into my evaporated milk. All the measurement is there for you. I'll add four eggs to my 50 ml evaporated milk, mix it very well, and add it to my dry mixture to bring it together as a dough, okay? Usually, you will have to add all the liquid mixture, but for today, and for me, what I normally do is I use some of it. I don't use all of it, I use some of it. So, I leave about a tablespoon full or a table and a half spoon full of that liquid mixture, for the egg washing so that i don't have to use another egg okay to waste another egg because usually it never finishes and you wash it out so i try to kill um one bed with two stones no i kill two beds with one stone <laughs> anyway yeah so you add a little by little making bringing your dough together and then setting it aside because it's huge this was a huge batch okay and the measurement i gave you is for part of the batch i'm making okay so that's easy for you you can double it triple it quadruple it do whatever you want with it but for me i mixed it little by little to make the mixing very easy for me because it was a big batch you set that aside and this is our onions and sausages for the rolls yeah so you flour your working board or your chopping board and then your rolling pin ready for the rolling process so i'm going to show you the easiest way possible to roll your dough okay i take about 500 grams of the dough and roll it out okay so as you see me do and then i fold it into a book fold and then roll it out again so i'm trying to get a long rectangle okay so for the thickness you have to decide how thick you want it right but then the trick to this um recipe is that when it's too thin and you roll it out it breaks when you bake it okay so make sure that it is not too thin or it's not too thick right so what you see me do is i'm trying to roll my dough so that the width is the same length as my sausage okay so the trick here is if you want your dough to cover or your pastry to cover the entire sausage you make sure that your sausage is the same length as the width of your dough okay or the dough the width of the dough is the same length as your sausage right so that it covers it okay if you want your sausage to disappear in the dough make sure that your dough the width of your dough is a bit longer than your sausage if you want your sausage the edges of your sausages to be exposed then you make your your dough the width of your dough a little bit smaller than your sausage i hope you understand what i mean because when you cook or when you bake your dough your sausages what happens is it expands okay so thereby covering like you know it expands both weights or both sides right so this is how i do it 
I just put in the sausage roll and roll it over about one and a half times. And then I egg wash it. Because it's a sausage roll and the way it is, if you don't egg wash it or water to seal it or some of the evaporated milk to seal it, otherwise it won't seal, okay? So the onions, the caramelized onions that we make, this is what I did with some of them, okay? I put a little bit in my dough and added my sausage right i realized that this sausage is going to be way bigger when it's cooked so i had to you know cut some off trim some off then and I, i'm measuring as you can see with my my bench scraper and then you roll it okay so i'm showing you this direction so that you see how i roll and how i cut it this dough was a little bit thin so it was breaking and at the end that's um this particular sausage roll broke apart right so make sure that it's not too thin and if it's too thin you can roll it over but then what i roll i roll it one and a half and then i cut it off i use my milk to seal it and cut it off roll it as you see me do and then it's time for baking okay it is very easy maybe the explanation was a bit confusing or clumsy but if you take your time you understand i spoke english good english that i have spoken so you should be able to understand i'm kidding don't mind me ignore me so you egg wash it so the rest of the egg mixture that's what i'm using to egg wash it and then you bake it for 30 to 35 minutes in 180 degrees celsius oven and this is it i'm cutting it open the one with the onions and look at that voila very nice and look at the pastry very crumbly as well amazing recipe i hope you enjoyed it and thank you all for joining me once again i'm very grateful to all of you don't forget to like this video share subscribe if you actually do like it okay thank you and i will see you in the very next one bye